Hello everyone, so in this video I will show you how to do bibliometric analysis using Boss Viewer. Actually not bibliometric analysis but bibliometric citation analysis, mostly visualization of bibliometric analysis. So be because like Boss Viewer cannot really give you the citation counts and those things properly, I mean it can but that's complicated, it's not user friendly from that perspective so you can use this site for that. But when it's about visualizing the citation network, co-citation networks, and co-authorships, then it's one of the best ones. And you can download Vosphere from here, vosphere.com, the download. So, yeah, you can download it and install it. It's, it's available for Mac, for other systems, and Windows, obviously. So, I have already downloaded it. So, I will just directly come to my Vosphere. When I open it, it looks like this. And then you have to create a data set. Uh, before I go to that, you can also check here manual. So this, this provides a detailed manual on each of the functions of Boss Viewer, what means what, how it works. So you can really get all the information from here. You can also update your Boss Viewer. But so now, I would like to show you how to really do some bibliometric uh, visualization analysis using Boss Viewer. So I will go to create, I will go to map based on bibliographic data, the next, and I'm using Scoopas data today. So this is the file I want to use, uh, CSV format file from Scoopas. It's, it's about data about the nexus of marketing and supply chain, so I'm going to open it. And then click next. Next. So finally, it took some time, but we it, uh, successfully read the file. So here it provides us three types of analysis. There are diff a few more based on the data we have. It provides us three types. So we can do bibli bibliographic coupling uh, on different levels. So we can do it for documents, sources, authors. So let's do for documents. I think this is one of the most popular ones. So let's go for that. So we click next. Here you can select the number of documents. So do you want to select all of them? Let's let's see what happens if we select all of them. Next. So we get bibliographic coupling. Yeah. And we can we can click finish to get it. When we click finish, we get this that uh, Connected documents are 10, 000, uh, 1077, not all 1300 are connected. So do I want to, so all of them are only the connected ones. So I would say, okay, let's show me only the connected ones. So here it is, it doesn't really look very nice, it's a lot of articles and it's too messy, I'm not happy about it. So yeah, I will, I will create another one actually. Yeah. So let's say, uh, this time I will go for 500, okay, I don't want to select all of them. So I, I get only 500. With the highest, with the highest bibliographic coupling, and I click finish. So now I see some pattern here, and I think it looks better than than the previous one. So to make it nicer, I can do a few more things. First of all, I uh, would say, okay, I want to see lines, colored colored lines and curved lines, but you don't see any lines here, right? So you have to increase the number of lines here. And you see some lines, right? So you, you can see the connections between the articles. And then, yeah, obviously, I want caster colors. You can also make the background black. Yeah, maybe it looks more fancy with black. You can we can change the size and levels. We can make them smaller. Length. Let's reduce the length. You can change fonts to few. You can also make them like boxes or circles, right? Scale. Yeah, it looks better with when I when I reduce the scale a little bit of the articles. It looks a little better. 
isn't it you can like zoom in here zoom out here maybe actually it would be better to do this analysis with even fewer articles now I have 500 maybe it would be better with fewer but let's let's go with this 500 now yeah, because I'm just showing you but when you do your analysis then you have to decide on these things so one more thing you can do is actually you can also see the the articles on these clusters right there are, we see some clusters blue green red pink yellow so here are all the articles but you can group them by clusters so there are five clusters now and all the articles in each of the clusters are listed on 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 the clusters so which means that in this 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 sample of 1300 articles here are five research sub teams in in supply chain and marketing and you can you can yeah to learn more about this we have to read the papers under each of the clusters one, one idea could be actually to take top 20 cited papers under each of the clusters yeah but to do that one idea could be if you just yeah you can just look at the size you know the more bibliographic coupling the larger the size so you can just look at the size also you can switch to density visualization so you can see where which is the most densely researched area so it's it's this one here but let's go back to network you can also change some attributes of the maps we can go to advanced parameters so now we are using the normalization method one we can choose to normalization method two this this is supposed to change the the clustering map let's see and we run again yeah you see it, it changed so yeah it changed you have to as I showed you the first file you know here the manual go here and read about these clustering methods so you can you can play with some different you can you can change the parameters here and play with it a little bit you can even say okay no normalization or you can use this I don't know how it works let's see so we get a different kind of network now I see the pattern is same all the time it's just the color is changing yeah so anyway so this is something you can do and you can also so this is the bibliographic coupling so let's see something else we'll go here create a new one So let's say we go for now co-authorship mapping authors you can do this co-authorship based on authors organization and countries and let's see with countries I mean normally you do oftentimes with authors first and then organizations and countries yeah let's say we let's go with authors okay next so you can select the number of documents of an author five only 15 meet this threshold we can reduce it for maybe let's make a three then we have a few more no, let's make it four we have 32 let's see what we get finish no, I want to see all of them it seems they are not really well connected so we get nothing actually so only three of them are connected but yeah, not many. So maybe it doesn't really make sense to do this co-authorship analysis here because it's yeah, they're not really doing something. So let's do for countries. Let's see what we get if we do the co-authorship for countries. Five. Yeah, let's see. This is a very nice graph, I think. So we can increase the size. I think this looks very good actually. We can see which countries are working together most. So these countries are in this research field of supply chain and marketing interaction. These are collaborating and these are collaborating. 
and here yeah, I think this looks very great I mean it, it's fancy so there is some fact with countries yeah so if we want to extract this we, we, we can go to screenshots we can we can click copy to clipboard or save to file or screenshot options or we can just go directly and print it and yeah that's it mostly so you can you can actually play with others you can play with co-author co-citation sometimes you will have based on the data you extracted from the database you will have co-occurrence and other options as well co-word analysis so you can do those thank you for watching this video so if you find it useful like comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel and you can visit our website at www.theresearchhub.org for more